The White House staff is expected next week to deliver a proposal to the president for a merit-based immigration system for the United States. The president, of course, has been calling for a merit-based immigration system since the campaign. He points to countries like Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, all of which have a points-based immigration system. The president also wants to end the visa lottery program and chain migration, both of which draw fierce opposition from Democrats. But the president's saying, as you mentioned at the top, the roaring American American economy is enticing people to head for the United States in numbers that we haven't seen in decades, and that the need to change the laws is greater than ever. Listen here. And our laws are so bad, the combination of having a great economy and having the weakest immigration laws anywhere in the world by far, and we have catch and release, and we have uh, chain migration and uh, visa lottery. We have things that nobody in their right mind would have. We're trying to get rid of them. The Democrats won't do it. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are coming to the White House tomorrow to talk policy with the president. It's expected that they will discuss immigration. The last time they came here to do that, specifically wall funding, it did not go well, though it was good TV. Here's Sarah Sanders from earlier today. Now starting to recognize what the president's been saying all along, that we really do have a crisis at the border. Um, and in fact, it is inhumane for us to ignore it longer. We have uh, a number of unaccompanied children skyrocketing, uh, the number of those individuals coming across our border, being smuggled and taken advantage of and exploited. Um, and now members of the Democrat Party hopefully are seeing uh, exactly what the president's been talking about and will have a new willingness to help us address it. Customs and Border Protection is preparing for a massive influx of immigrants because word has gone out that U.S. detention facilities are full and cannot hold any more people. Here's the new DHS Secretary, Kevin McAleenan, on 60 Minutes last night. If you come now, and if you come as a family or as an unaccompanied child, you will be allowed to stay. You will be released because our court system is so backlogged and our laws prevent effective repatriation, even if there's no right to stay in the U.S. And there's a new problem that Immigration and Customs Enforcement is trying to tackle. They're sending a lot of personnel to the border, including experts on human smuggling, because they are discovering that people are using forged documents to fraudulently create families with which they can cross the border. Other people are also forging documents to say that uh, people who are over the age of 18 are minors. And because they're minors, they're allowed to stay in the United States. But, John, apparently a lot of fraud going on at the southern border among a lot of migrants who are trying to get in, and ICE uh, desperately trying to address that now.